Larry, what was the, the difficulty getting the game started offensively? Yeah, we just couldn't uh, we couldn't get anything going in the first half offensively. We we uh, we never got our, our running backs to the second level to the linebacker level. Uh, you know, it will be interesting to see on film what the real reason was, but we never got any consistency at all in what we were trying to do offensively. With the pressure, the struggles that Nathan had, especially in the first half, was that. Just a combination of the line not giving that much protection, or there's something that he was maybe doing that he either corrected later or still needs to correct. Well, I mean, he's still, you know, you, no matter what, whether you get pressure or not as a quarterback, you still got to make the right decisions, you know. And so, uh, unfortunately, uh, we we turned the ball over four times today, and if you turn it over like we did, you're you're going to have a hard time winning a football game. You can still be in the game, but you're going to have a hard time winning a football game. I mean, they didn't turn it over. And we turned it over four times, and that's the difference in the game. Was there a point there, especially at that third interception, where maybe you had to talk a little confidence to him? Uh, we were talking to him throughout the entire game. It wasn't like uh, you know, after one, you know, uh, one was more important than the other. I mean, uh, there's not a single turnover that you make as a quarterback that you want to you want to make. And uh, you know, whether his confidence was, I didn't see any difference in him and his demeanor and the way he talked to us and, and the way he tried to lead the football team. So, uh, you know, I'm sure it affected him, but he knows he's got to put it behind him. He's got to go on to the next play. Why did you decide to keep him in the game? Just felt like he was our best, gave us our best chance to win. Where is